Hello and welcome back to more Graveyard Keeper. Picking up where we left off. Um, we got plenty of, we've got that 32 stone we need, or do we need 36? I somehow think we needed 36, but we'll wait for that. It'll, it'll come. After I set up the, the zombie, I then went and pretty much went straight to bed and, and, and logged off. No, we've got the 32. Okay, we need 12 simple iron parts and four complex iron parts. So I'm just going to put that down here as well as these. We're going to go get the simple and complex iron parts now. Or we'll just walk back into the house accidentally. So there's lots of good news coming out. The, um... Last Journey edition of the game is is coming to consoles very soon. Which is, of course, the uh, Better Save Soul DLC and then basically the complete edition. No message about it on Switch, though, so I'm not too sure if it'll be coming to Switch. But the... Oh, so that one can only exist there. Okay. We'll get that going. Uh, so that means there's a fair amount that can be done. And I'm really, really keen to see it, see it come. Alright, so the zombie brewery does not allow mead. That's gotta be a... What? Damn, so we're just gonna have to do mugs of mead manually, I guess. What a bummer. Because the mead we can do easily here, right? We can... we got tons of honey, tons of everything. But this, we don't actually have that much uh, wheat. Disappointing. Disappointing. Oh, well. So we got the two. I don't know if we can actually put in another zombie winery. Let's double check. We need to take all the fitch we can get. Basically, what I'm looking at is um, we'd probably have to put in another zombie farm and just grow wheat, I guess. So we're just going to uh, chuck a couple of fitch up. There we go. And we've got more stone in now, please. So I think we can go... Just always be doing that, and always be doing that. I don't know if that's hugely necessary, but we'll see. Yeah, no, there's only one spot where it can go, so we can't actually put a second one in. Which is a shame, but also understandable. A fermentation barrel is that one, and the winemaking barrel is a little larger. The alcohol distiller we've not set up. Maybe we could look at something like that. But otherwise, we probably need to look at making a lot more wheat a lot faster. So maybe that's something we could look at. Additionally, we want to come around here and we want to check out making the zombie alchemy decomposer. I'm sure we have polished stone wooden planks and simple iron parts. So we're going to go check out that now. Uh, yep. Polished stone, wooden planks and something else, but I forget. <laughs> Ah, uh, it's, it's fun being me sometimes. Literally just look and be like, oh wait, what was it? Alright, gonna tidy that up. And... I think, I think that's good. Just gonna take and put this one over here. And yeah, that, that is ready. That's, that's interesting. Like, I like the idea of mead. 
but it might be just not not feasible. All right, so this is a big one. I think this is maybe the issue we were having. The realization that it could basically only go there. And it meant that we had to move everything else around. I think that was it, wasn't it? Okay. So the good news is we have the parts for it now. Bad news is we're going to have to um, break a few things to, to get what we want. So it looks like we'll need to pull this apart. And put the other one in and then put the zombie alchemy workbench somewhere else. So let's... Or does it work down here? Because if I recall, we can put stuff down here. No. Okay. There's just not enough space for it. Okay. That's all right, though. We'll just have to... Oh, we've got enough for everything. We'll literally just need to get more planks. Okay, then. Remove. There we go. Schedule that for removal, and then we can place it in. Good old renovations, eh? And we got planks back, which means we don't actually lose... Like, we don't have to go back make planks before we redo this. Interesting. Okay. So the decomposer can only fit here. That's literally it. Okay. And then... No, not the random text generator. The alchemy workbench... Can fit down here, I guess. Like, I'd normally put it up there or something, but... It doesn't overly matter where it is. So we may as well stick it here. There we go. And we get those built. Oh my gosh. It's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. We can finally... <laughs> finally, the fruits of our labor have come. Um, that now enables us to essentially be able to... Uh, track what makes what, which is one of the biggest things that I mentioned on a previous stream and someone commented that it could actually be circumvented or addressed with the use of that machine. So that is absolutely great. A huge thank you to, um, to that person. I, I don't know who it is off the top of my head, uh. I think I've seen them comment a fair amount of times with, with ideas and, and responses and such, and I super appreciate it all. Like, every, every comment, suggestion, and such that I get, I appreciate all of them. Right. Now, I need a burger. Because we are going to be making ourselves a very, very good zombie, if we can. Right, so we got a burger that'll that'll help our hands. And we will pop outside to work on that. So you've got four good. Five good. Okay, we're gonna take this one. Whoops. We are going to take your blood. We are going to take your fat. And we are going to take your heart. We are going to boost the heart up. Actually, no, we're not. 
So I've just noticed when I took out that heart that uh, a red one was there. And I realized I hadn't had the burger for it before either. That's That was an oopsie. So if I want to modify an organ, first one. I think this one will be it. Except I don't know which one's which. All right, we're going to take the first one. <laughs> this is this is going to be a little bit tricky trying to work it out because we can't see it yet. I thought there was an ability to see, but yep. So this seems to be max good. So we can actually go and put this one in now. So if I eat that, no, put this heart in, we have nine good. I think that's as good as we can get. I'm going to take out intestines. We're now at six good, two red. So that has three good in it already. Take out the brain. That has eight good. So we can actually put more good. We can put more good in the brain. <laughs> I am very... Wait. Where did the brain go? No. Oh, it... It ate my brain. Damn it. I don't want a brainless zombie. <laughs> I'm taking you. I'm going to borrow your brain and see what happens. Sometimes that happens. I don't know what the cause of it is. So we got four red, three green. So hopefully... Mm, that's two and two. I, think, I reckon we can get a better one. Actually, no, it doesn't matter. Because the red doesn't matter. All that matters is that the, um, the organs are maxed. There we go. Yep. Okay, good. So we've got our brain that's maxed at three now. We are going to take this body, plonk him on the floor, take that body. That one will probably end up being burned now that we're missing a brain. There we go, we're at 11. Um, given I... I think we've done heart already. Yeah. Maybe skin could be improved, but we don't need a zombie with nice skin. Do we have any more zombie juice? I thought I made some, but I might not have it, so... Also, it's merchant day now. We've spent all of yesterday building this, so um, we're going to be able to check in on the merchant shortly. Just scrolling through, I thought I made a considerable amount of zombie juice. I did. There's seven of it sitting down here. All right, so taking that zombie juice, going to put it in, and we'll start working on the zombies. I'm curious if uh, quality, basically the... Um, Congratulations, welcome to the community. 
Um, I'm curious if the quality impacts, like, porter tasks. I don't know for sure. There we go. They're just going to work on that. And we are done there. Let's go see the merchant. Let's talk business. Ah, oh, the sales haven't been made? What? They're sitting there to sell. Right, so we just need to do a whole bunch more of those and we're just going to wait for those to sell. I don't know how to see how many have been sold though. So, we find out about dinner next time. Okay, that should be... I mean, it's not the worst. Um, we should be able to approach it and sort of tackle it from there. Now, let's go and double check what's happening over at the Dead Horse. I think we can put on a festival. We should probably take that time to do it. Wait, it's not up. Sixty-one. Does that put us at twelve now? It does. We can now purchase the aristocrat thing as well. We got to get some flyers. So, what if we went home? Are the flyers in here? There, they are. There they are. Got some mead that we'll uh, put here. Where will we put it? There. No. We'll have that zombie take it over. That's half finished. So we might grab another quick zombie and just put it on that one. But we'll have to um have to look into that and sort of perfecting the zombies. I don't know how much how much work we want to do just to make sure they're perfect. But just looking through, I think getting some. Oh, they do the solutions and extracts as well. It's amazing. And we can just tell them, do those extracts. That is, oh, it's wonderful. Wonderful. Right, we're going to go out with a bang. We're going to finish this episode off with a graveyard fest. Looks like they're all having a sweet time. Event income 10, total money 15. There we go. Yep, we already we already did this. Alright, so I think we sold two wines, which is pretty much all we had here. Oh no, we got a few beers and stuff. But we can also do some cooking and get some of those, uh, where are they? I think we wanted the beer thirst things. We'll take care of that and we'll, we'll get on it. Yeah, there we go. Beer thirst. Get some mad quality onion rings out there and start making some good money. All right. That's where we'll wrap things up. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode and, um, if you'd like to see more, do subscribe. Also, don't forget to like the video if you haven't already. Thank you so much. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Take care and look after yourselves. And until next time, bye for now.